Hi, in this demo, we'll look into creating line graphs in R using the plot function. First, we'll look into creating a simple line graph and we'll extend that by creating a multi-line multi-graph output and in the last uh, part of this presentation, we'll create a multi-line graphs in a single graph output. So for this, uh, we'll start with a simple data set uh, called daily sales. Uh, it's like a transaction log file of a, the number of units sold uh, for a given day or a couple of months. So it's a comma separated file. Uh, we are going to load this data, uh, this file using read.csv method into a data frame called sales. So let's uh, do that first. Let's quickly check the structure of this data frame called sales. Uh, like I mentioned, it has two variables. One is date, which is a character type, and the uh, units is a number, uh, integer type, and has 31 observations. So let's quickly glance the data, how it looks by using the function called head, uh, and by specifying the number of rows we want to see with this data frame. So yeah, uh, right. The data, the data looks something like this. So for the first plot, we're going to quickly visualize the number of units sold over a period of time for a given day, you know, for, for this data set. So for that, you know, we are going to use a plot function. Um, uh, the plot function takes a bunch of parameters. Uh, the most, uh, the required ones are x and y axis, um, you know, coordinates, and uh, the rest of them are optional. Uh, if you specify the type, if you leave the type, uh, or if you don't specify the type parameter, by default it plots the scatter plot. So here we specified the y-axis to be the number of uh, units sold, so that we would like to visualize, you know, uh, the x-axis will be the date, so you know, uh, so that we can see the number of units sold over a period of time, and the plot type will be the line. Uh, you can specify. Uh, there are other parameters that you can specify here points or both where which will plot both line and points uh, you, if you can play with this uh, function and by changing different parameters uh, and the next one is the x uh, uh, x axis label uh, and y axis label and the main title of this plot and uh, we can also change the color of the plotting uh, symbol you know by uh, specifying different color uh, you can get more help for these all parameters using the help file in R by typing the question mark and the the name of the object that you want to help which in this case will be plot and you can look at the detailed information so here let's go ahead and plot this um, graph so here uh, like I like we just discussed you know the uh, uh, the x-axis is the the unit soul and the y-axis is the date and you can see the trend of this uh, data set uh, over a period of time so you know let's quickly change uh, you know one thing about this graph let's say we want to see uh, a line drawn over this uh, at a particular point to represent the the, the highest part of sales figure for a given day so you can observe like around Jan 26 you might see you you, you can see there is a high number of uh, um, you know the sales units sold uh, let's say we want to try draw a horizontal line representing the you know uh, let's say a 6,000 mark and uh, you know and, and and visually showing that you know this part of the graph where the unit sold is just more than uh, any other day so for this, we'll use a function called abline. Uh, abline allows you to draw a lines on a graph. So once you you specify, you know, the, the parameters I'm using here is h, which is the horizontal axis. In this case, this uh, particular line, and we are specifying 6,000. So we are want we want to draw a line around 6,000. Uh, you can also specify the vertical axis, so you will see another line. Um, so the line type is going to be two, which is like a daughter line, and the color is blue. And there are a bunch of other parameters for this function, but we'll just go with this. So here, I just drew a line, um, and you know, uh, to specify, um, you know, the lowest or the highest point where, where you know, uh, where we see more number of sales for a date. Next, uh, this is a simple, you know, line graph. Um, it's a basic one. The next thing we'll do is we'll draw multiple graphs um, uh, for a given data set. For this, we're going to load a different data sets called daily market. 
uh, let's it's another comma separator file uh, we can quickly look at the the structure of this uh, data set str market so you have like four variables here date revenue customers and profit let's close that um, graph so we have like three variables uh, three numerical variables uh, revenue customers and profit and one um, character variable called date so um, let's uh, for, to draw to draw uh, a multiple multi graph output for a graph device we use a uh, function called par uh, par is uh, allows you to set or query graphical uh, parameters for a graph device output so in this case we're going to use a parameter called mf row um, if you just type par in the r window you will but you will get the default options or basically you're querying the uh, uh, the graphical uh, parameters by if you if i just uh, say par you can see the different parameters that it's uh, right now it's set on uh, the MF uh, row is one one uh, one comma one, which is like a matrix of a graph output with uh, one row and one column. And there are other parameters that goes with this um, for a graphical device, you know. So you can change all of those, uh, but this is these are what we queried, uh, what we have in this um, in this session, in this R session. So let's set the the par. Um, MF row, which is the the number of uh, uh, a matrix of row, basically uh, it takes a vector, uh, which is like we want to specify. We want to draw three graphs in one column. So let's draw the first graph. It's the the, the plot function we are going to use very similar to the one which we used earlier. And uh, we, we're going to just change the x-axis and y-axis as well as uh, some label parameters. So y-axis is going to be the market revenue. It's a numerical quantity. And x-axis is going to be the date, uh, the character variable. So we are going to transform the date as a uh, proper date using as.date function. And uh, by, you know, we also will pass the, the, the format of the date here, date, month, and year, so that we can parse the character into a proper date. Uh, we'll use the type as L line. It's the same everything. So let's draw this graph right now. You can see here uh, what MF, uh, MF row, the par MF row parameter did. It set the graphical device output into broken into three different sections because we gave it as a three row and one column. Uh, so we, we drew the revenue one. Let's go ahead and draw the uh, the customers plot. Now as soon as I uh, run this graph, uh, it's going to place this graph adjacent to the uh, below the graph of what we draw earlier. So here you can see the, the second graph is uh, the second row of this matrix of MF row C3.1, a three, uh, three into one matrix. Uh, three row one column matrix so let's draw the final one which is the profits um, and the third one is just falls below the the first one sorry okay so the the first you know all these like this is like a three dot uh, three comma one so it's like a matrix of three graphs uh, with one column so that's uh, this is a multi graph output in a single graph device um, in our next graph we'll combine these three data sets into one graph so for that we're going to set the MF row back to normal which is one dot one so par uh, we can see Sorry. So if you see the par um, the uh, 
the mf.row will be 3.1 because that's what we set uh, this function to be. So we'll change that back to normal uh, to 1.1 um, by just quickly So we, we defaulted back to the um, you know the par properties back to normal. Now let's go ahead and create a uh, multi-line graph in a single graph output. So first one uh, here we're going to use another parameter of par which is new um, equal to t. What it does is it, it uses the existing graph as its base and it overlays the new graph on top of it. It's basically what we want to do. So first one let's draw the, the first graph which is revenue. It's almost similar to the plotting functions that we used, the parameters that we used earlier. Um, we just added a line width as uh, one so that we can easily differentiate from other graphs once we overlay. So let's draw this graph. Okay, that's simple and pretty basic. That's what we saw earlier. And uh, let's use the par new equal to t. So we are asking it to overlay this graph on top of this by not creating a new graph. So here, so you can see here, we just drew this graph on top of this, um, you know, on our earlier graph. And let's do the same thing by setting the uh, the par property of uh, into new because every time you run a plot function, it initiates a new graphic device. So we are basically asking it to not to do that. We're just asking it to overlay the graph on existing uh, graph device. So we drew all three graphs on the same graph all three line graphs on the same graph. Now all we have to do is create a legend. So the legend, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's another uh, function of the plotting uh, system. It takes uh, different parameters. So here we are asking it to uh, put the, the legend in the top right corner and uh, actually we'll change it to the top and uh, we uh, so we, the legend takes a, a, a vector so we have the revenue customers and profit and uh, and we're going to map those legends to the appropriate color red blue and green the line type is one and the number of columns is three so it creates a a three column uh, one row um, matrix of uh, different labels and uh, the cex is the size of this legend so let's try to create this So here, so we draw the legend here, revenue, customers, and profit. So this completes our uh, multi-line single graph output uh, for the plot function.